In the web client for Dynamics Nav 2017, list pages, such as here the customers list page, are even easier to work with than before. For example, I can quickly hide a column that I don't wish to see when I'm working by clicking on this mini menu, hide column, and that's now removed from the view to give me more room to display the things, the data that I actually wish to work with. I can click any of these drop-down menus and choose columns and then from this range of columns I can tick to select which ones I wish to be visible. So for example if I didn't want to see currency code and salesperson code but I did want to see country region code and postcode I can tick to make those changes say OK and the page is now updated to show me country region code and postcode. On that same menu, if I wish to click the drop down, I have the option to see what's this. Now this then gives me the extended tooltip that provides help on that specific field or column name. This help will then clarify how that field is utilized in NAV. If I wish to learn more, I can click here to go to the full online help. If the list page displays lots of information, so it has lots of columns, I may find that I need to scroll across the right to view other information. And you'll notice here there was actually a freeze pane on the left hand side. So as I scroll left and right, the first two columns, number and name, are fixed, but the other columns snap quickly into place as I scroll to the right. Obviously if I have more columns activated, if I have more columns visible, I have more information I can work with, and these columns will scroll across and snap neatly into place. If I wish to change the position of this freeze pane, I can do this, but need to do it in the Windows client. So for example, here on the same page, the customers page, if I go to the application menu and choose customize, customize this page, and I go to choose columns, here I can see that there's a freeze pane. If I want to make sure that I see country region code, and this is always above, always fixed to the left of the freeze pane, so it'll always be visible, and perhaps I can always see which salesperson deals with the account, so I move salesperson code above the freeze pane. This means it will display on the left when I reload the page. I now say OK to my changes. My page in the Windows client reloads and I can see I now have four columns to the left of the freeze pane. And if I return to the web client and sign out and sign back in and return to the customers page I will now see that I've got four columns fixed to the left of the freeze pane and the others snap neatly into place as I scroll.